Okay, so welcome to this next video in which we are discussing the structure of the synovial membrane. Okay, so we're just discussing the structure of hyaluronin, uh, which is a, a polysaccharide which is secreted by type B into my cells, okay, uh, and is secreted into the articular cavity and is a component of the synovial fluid. Okay, so we've discussed the structure of D-glucopyranose, okay, which is this cyclic form of D-glucose. So I said, strictly speaking, D-glucose does not mean uh, this cyclic form. It means the linear form where you have the aldehyde group in, intact, basically. Um, so, re strictly speaking, you should call this D-glucopyranose. Right, now we're going to see some molecules that are based on this, and this is where you'll think that actually the um, terminology of biochemistry starts to um, lack a little bit, because we're going to see some other molecules which are based on this, such as D-glucuronate and also um, N-acetyl-D-glucosamine. Now, both of these are going to be cyclic, but they can also exist in the linear form, and we don't have the uh, pyranose terminology there, basically. So you don't have this pyranose uh, name which tells you whether it's in the cyclic or the non-cyclic form. Okay, so that's where the um, uh, terminology of biochemistry starts to lack, basically. It works for the basic ones, but then uh, it hasn't been um, written as thoroughly for the um, less basic ones. So, uh, let's have a look at the structure of D-glucuronic uh, acid. And it's worth remembering, of course, that this can also exist uh, in the linear form, but we're going to see it in the cyclic form. Okay, so this is D-glucuronic acid, often called D-glucuronate. Okay, so D-glucuronic acid. So, it's basically exactly the same structure as D-glucopyranose up there. Okay, so here is this six-membered ring again. Okay. And again, you still have the two animas, so you will have an alpha D-glucuronic acid, and you'll also have a beta D-glucuronic acid, so I'll put a, uh, a squiggly line there to denote that we don't know the optoisomerism of that alcohol group then these alcohol groups are absolutely set in their optical isomerism, okay? It would not be gluc um, uronic acid if it didn't have these uh, alcohol groups in the same positions as glucose, okay? So these are absolutely set, okay? And now this sixth carbon that we had coming out of the page towards us, it still comes out of the page, but it is no longer a um, carbon with an alcohol group off. Instead, it's got a carboxylic acid group there. So let me try and draw this skeletally. So here is the carbonyl group, and here's the alcohol group of the carboxylic acid group. So you have a carboxylic acid group there. Now this is D-glucuronic acid because this carboxylic acid group comes out of the page towards us. Now, you can have the structure where it goes into the page away from us instead, uh, but that that has a different name, basically. You could call that L-glucuronic acid if you want. It's got another name, which is uh, iduronic acid. So D-L-glucuronic acid is also known as iduronic acid. Okay, and we, we're not going to use that. We're going to specifically use uh, D-glucuronic acid. Okay, right. So that's the structure of D-glucuronic acid then. Specifically, the D-glucuronic acid that we're going to use in hyaluronic acid is beta-D-glucuronic acid. So this alcohol group needs to be coming out of the page towards us rather than going into the page away from us. Okay, right. So let's have a look now at the other component of uh, hyaluronic acid, which is N-acetyl-D-glucosamine. So again, this structure is going to be based on uh, D-glucopyranose. Okay, right. So let's draw the structure. Again, this six-membered ring here. Okay. And this is... Then we need to put on the alcohol group. So firstly, we'll start off with this sixth carbon up here. So you have the sixth carbon coming out of the page towards us. Okay. Uh, and uh, it's still got a normal alcohol group on, so this isn't glucuronic acid we're talking about here. Instead, this is just a normal uh, glucose molecule that's going to be here. So we're going to, excuse me, 